obviously the first thing that you need to do is determine what you even want to talk about. So are you talking about your business? Are you talking about your dog? You know, figure out what you want to talk about. Figure out who your audience is. Is it male? Is it female? Is it both? Is it 15 year olds? Is it 30 year olds? Is it everybody? Um, you know, what will they get out of your content? Are they going to learn something? Are they going to perhaps buy a product? You know, outline what type of videos you want to create. And then do you want to put yourself in a niche? I personally do not niche myself. I am lifestyle, you know, I'm tech, I'm apps, I'm everything. I'm just all, uh, just well-rounded. I'm just everything. And then are you a solo person? Do you have a team? Um, where will you publish your content? Where will it live? Will it live on Vimeo? Will it live on YouTube? And then, you know, build credibility. Reach out, engage, engage, engage. I can't stress that enough because if you don't engage, no one's gonna share your content. And then of course, last but not least, determine what success looks like because success to me is gonna look different than what it looks like to you. All right, and, and specifically, I know we were talking about what success is for you. And I think it's important that uh, everyone knows this as well because I believe in it too. So do you wanna just talk about how you, how you measure uh, your results? Yeah, absolutely. So success for me would be ending up with more money than I've put into my business. So of course I would want to double, triple whatever I've put into my business. I spend a lot of money marketing myself, driving, flying to places, getting on TV, um, boosting my content, writing content. I mean, I spend a lot of money on my website, you know, everything, getting it on Google, getting ads out there. So if I'm constantly putting money into it and then I don't have anything to show for it. No one's paying me to talk about their products. No one's paying me to fly out and, you know, collaborate with them. I'm definitely in the red. That is not success. I mean, to me, success would be outweighing how much I've put into the business. Okay. I think that's really important for people. You know, like uh, you look at uh, your business and especially when it comes to social media and people think, oh, look how many uh, likes I've got. Uh, look how many comments I've got. And really, if, if these are just... Um, they're vanity metrics, right? Like you want to be really tracking how many sales you're getting, how many new customers, you know, are you making it a profit? Is it, you know, is it profitable for you to keep doing this because you want to be able to do this long into the future um, and be able to spend more and more time on it and more resource into it to keep improving it and growing your business, right? So uh, always be, uh, you know, making sure that you're getting more out of it than, than you're putting in. So I think that's fantastic. And before we move into the, the topic that I think is, is, is really exciting and important because I think people miss this step quite a lot. Um, at the very beginning, like you, you, you have to decide what platform you, your video is going to live on. You mentioned as part of your process, Vimeo, YouTube, even even Facebook. Now, what? Um, how, how are you deciding that, and how should people? What factors should they take in? You know, a lot of people use Vimeo, and then a lot of people use YouTube, and some people don't use it at all. Some people just post their content straight to their website, and it's never uploaded anywhere else. The problem is, if it's only on your website, people have to go to your website to see it. If it's on YouTube, it's very shareable. Um, anybody can really see it. I mean, billions of people are, billions are on YouTube. So I personally like to put my content there because it's got the most chance of being seen, being shared, everything. And at the end of the day, if no one's telling you how great your content is, if no one's sharing your content, that's saying a lot. So for me, I mean, that also goes with success. If people are saying, God, I love your videos. I've learned so much. I've done this. I've done that. You know, you really helped me. I'm succeeding. But if everyone's like, I don't really get what you're trying to say. You know, I hate when I listen to a podcast and I've gotten nothing out of it. That's, and that's not what I want my audience to see or say about me at all. So I, I firmly believe you, first, you have to have a video on your website and it should be your welcome video a video about your company because having a video on your landing page actually increases conversion by more than 81%. But you should also put that video on YouTube. But if your audience is Vimeo, put it on Vimeo. And then it, just share it over and over and over again. And you've got eyes, you've got so many eyes potentially seeing it. Your views and your chances of selling that product or collaborating with a different company or getting in front of whoever you're trying to get in front of, your chances go way up. 